definition of agricultural extension. What comes to your mind when the word agricultural extension is mentioned? When you take up the word extension in the dictionary, it is stated as extended or projected. Agricultural extension involves exchange knowledge to the end users. However, on the simplest level, agricultural extension could be defined as voluntary out-of-school educational program for clientele consisting of the relevant contents, principles, and procedures. It also involves dissemination of information on innovation or new technology to the clientele. Extension, as a science, has wider scope of involvement. A basic role of agricultural extension is that of helping to improve the performance of those who are involved in primary food production. This is because it disseminates information that enhances their current practices. This involves a shift from the traditional resource-based methods of production to a new science-based methods. Importance of agricultural extension Dissemination of innovation or new technologies to the clientele in order to have a cultural, compatible, socially acceptable, and economically visible technology, extension services is important to guide research development, improve farmers' method of production, and enhance performance. It is important to improve farmers' method of production and enhance farmer output. Agricultural uh, extension is very important in dissemination of innovation or new technologies to the clientele. Agricultural extension is needed to help the clientele obtain information on sources of input and credit facilities that will enhance their level of production. Despite the fact that farmers are encouraged to increase their level of production, the issue of marketing outlet is important. Agricultural Extension provides information to the farmers on marketing strategy to use to maximize their profit, while it also introduces to the farmers market opportunities to help dispose of their products as at when due. The role of educational development. This is by educating the clientele on how to maximize the utilization of their resources and available services. This is achieved through development of farmer skills and attitudes so as to benefit from improved technology. Extension is also important in its role as a vacuum filler. The role of extension in helping farmers to get information on sources of inputs and credit facilities, marketing strategies and available markets for their product has gone a long way to improve farmers' production and their standard of living. Agricultural developments depend on involvement of new technologies. Technologies could be developed, but if it does not get to the end users, it is useless. In national development, extension provides the linkage between the farmer and researchers. Extension helps the researchers or scientists embark on researches that are culturally compatible, technologically acceptable, and economically visible. Extension is important in creating awareness leading to growing interest in concepts of sustainability and environmental management. 
This will go a long way in integrating sustainability elements in agriculture and material resource management. One of the basic problems of farmers is in the area of decision making. Extension services focus on equipping farmers with marketing and investment information and training them to make decisions concerning aspects of agricultural prices, management practices, and social issues. <coughs> basic philosophy of extension education. The basic philosophy of agricultural extension is to help farmers help themselves. This is with respect to identification and finding solutions to the problems on their farm and home. Extension agents should know that the philosophy is based on the concept of involvement and participatory approval. This is because the process of developing the skills of the farmers through learning by doing will promote sustainability and extension work. The basic philosophy of agricultural extension, therefore, is to build in the concept of self-reliance in the farmers. It is also to discourage the farmers from depending on agricultural extension for the technical or production requirements. Principles of Agricultural Extension 1. The principles of starting where the people are. It is important that the extension personnel should work at the level where the farmers are. If the purpose of agricultural extension is to improve the standard of living of the people, it is therefore important that whatever is to be introduced should start at the level of understanding of the farmers. The farmers have various economic, social and educational levels. Two. So, Helping farmers to determine their problems. It is the philosophy of extension to help the farmers help themselves. In order to accomplish this, the extension agent should work with the people to understand how to determine their own problem. The concept of problem analysis should be taken seriously so that the clientele can distinguish between what is a problem. The basic idea behind the principle is to stimulate the thinking ability of the clientele. 3. Principle of interest and needs. Extension is voluntary. The clientele is not covered to accept anything. It is therefore important that extension should have adequate knowledge of the farmer interests and needs. Principles of mutual, mutual Trust and Respect It is very important to know that in human relation, mutual trust and respect is critical. Two people who are not friendly cannot work together in a situation where there is no respect. There can be any harmony and peaceful coexistence. Similarly, in extension work, the clientele and the extension agent should respect and trust each other. The principle of voluntary involvement. Extension specifically is a process that involves changing human behavior through communication. It is not possible to change the behavior of an unwilling individual. It is only when the clientele is willing and accept what is being introduced to him that extension could make any impact on the project. Causation does not help in project implementation and sustainability. Therefore, extension principle should be based on voluntary involvement of the clientele. 6. Principle of working with the whole family. 
In communities of Africa, agricultural production involves the whole family. Apart from the physical involvement of members of the family by providing farm labor for cultivation purposes, others are also involved in processing, transportation, and marketing. The above provide spines of reasons why extension should work with all members of the family. That is to say, men, women, young, old, rich, and poor. 7. Principle of extension based on facts and knowledge. Extension involves extending relevant and useful information to the population at large. The dissemination of relevant information and advice to the farmers is based on availability of innovations to enhance their production. Extension deals with the facts that emanate from experimentation and adaptation of findings. Principle of Educational Responsibility Extension is educational in function though assisting people to make their own decision among various alternatives put before them. Extension should not be involved in civic responsibilities or other assignments that could affect the trust and respect of the people. In many developing countries, because of lack of basic institutional facilities to handle the supply of inputs, Extension has no alternative but to combine this with its educational function. Hence, it has been involved with the distribution of seeds, fertilizer, fungicide as to the detriment of its educational function. Student, this is the end of our lectures today. In a nutshell, we can say agricultural extension is very important in dissemination of innovation to the clientele. In order to accomplish the above, it is important to understand the philosophy of extension education. Principles of agricultural extension involves the factors that guide the activities of agricultural extension. For the assignment, I want you to write 1. What are the goals of agricultural extension education? 2. State and explain 8 specific functions of agricultural extension education. This should be submitted in our next class. Thank you.